I'm going to show two approaches to this arithmetic or linear sequence. First approach, we might imagine what the first seven steps of the sequence are, given that we know term 1 is 4 and term 7 is 22. We can see that the gap between 4 and 22 is a gap of 18. There are six steps between these, so each step must be adding 3, 1 sixth of 18. So we could fill in what the other terms by adding 3 to 4, 7, 10, 13, etc. So we can see the first term A is 4 and the difference is D. And we've listed out the first number of terms in the sequence. To get term 20, we could use the term n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d, giving that term 20 is 61. A second approach that's different would be to consider this as a straight line because we know it's arithmetic or linear. So we know that term 1 is 4, that's the point 1, 4, and term 7 is 22, the point 7, 22. We could see when we look at this line that it has a slope of 3 that it crosses the y-axis at 1. And since y is equal to mx plus c, we could see that term n must be 3n plus 1. We could also see from the points along the line that the first five terms are given, including term a, the first term. And we can see using the equation of this line, 3n plus 1, the term 20 must be 3 times 20 plus 1 giving us 61.